So, weiter geht's. <lacht> Wo waren wir? Okay, bei dem zweiten Ambidex Game dürft ihr wahrscheinlich. Ja, müssen wir uns entscheiden, ob wir Betray oder Dings nehmen. Ally. Müssen wir mal schauen. Ah, no. Hoffe, hoffe, gestern war nicht zu anstrengend mit Umzug helfen und so. Okay. Everybody ready? Ja. You've all got a moon card, right? Yes, we do. Good. And then let's go. Fire B gates yawned open as we swiped our cards. The fifth one, the one Dio had opened, stayed empty. The sixth, which would have been Alice's, remained unopened. Kane Clover quickly entered the second and third from the right and Luna and I headed toward our own. Hold on a minute. Man. Well, what You're is it? You're going to choose Ally, right? Yeah, why do you ask? Of course we are. You promise? Sure. Oh, I Cross promise. Your heart. I hope to die. You're gonna Close be in heart. a world of hurt if you double cross me. Don't sweat it. I'm a man of my word. Wir könnten jetzt alles umbringen, ne? Indem wir Betray nehmen. Five roamed, but said nothing and disappeared into her own AB room, the second from the left. Und and I nodded to one another and headed for the last one, the leftmost room. <coughs> War schrecklich. Ei, nicht schön. Hoffe, hoffe inzwischen geht's, geht's wieder. Oh, once you have entered your vote, door will lock automatically and will not open again until the polling period is finished. Okay. Ding ding. One minute remains until Ambidex game polling closes. Mega für den extrem unorganisiert. Ah. Das ist, aber wieder, das ist dann wieder Kacke mit, mit Umzügen. Chat scheint zu spinnen. Siehst du deine eigenen Nachrichten? Hallo Potter. Ah, Test vielleicht mal. Neuladen. Vielleicht geht's dann. Einfach neu laden. Bis gleich Test. One minute remains. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, I don't have a choice, do I? I promised. I said I'd choose Ella. Yes, but Fi has six BP. If she betrays us. Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. What? You have six BP too, don't you? That mm. means if we betray Phi and she chooses ally... Then I would have nine yes. points. You see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. Twenty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Das ist wieder gut. Ich hoffe's. That's it. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Ich hatte vorhin 
Was Falsches gesagt. Wir sind, wir sind ja in der Timeline gar nicht mehr. Gar nicht mit Alice in einer. In einem Team, sondern mit Fai. Kannst du genau sehen. Das ist gut. I should is okay with yes. you. Alright. I turned to face the machine. Ten seconds remain. Until Ambidex game polling closes. So was, was hättet ihr denn gerne? Ally oder Betray? I'm going to choose. Nine. Eight. Seven. Ally or Betray. Six, five. Four. This is impossible. Three, two, one. Hello, Betray. Hmm. Okay. Wir machen ja dann sowieso. Also wir spulen dann sowieso nochmal zurück und machen dann die Timeline, wenn wir, wenn wir Ally genommen hätten. Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex gates now opening. Hmm. And I stepped out of our A B room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. So, you chose betray. Yeah. Did you do it to protect yourself? Were you worried that Fi might choose betray? Uh, uh, that's a good question. Huh? I'm honestly not sure myself why I did it. Well, we should go see the results. I want to see how Kay and Clover voted. Hmm. Right. Let's go then. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Please Schauen wir mal. Your attention to the results. Ja, ja, komm. Roboter Stimme ist mir zu langsam. Hallo, hallo. Ja, okay. Schön. Uh, wir sind die einzigen, die Betray genommen haben. Uh. Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. Nein. Let's come up home. Well played, Sigma. Vision. I guess a promise means a lot to you. I had nothing to say. She was right. I had broken my promise. Why did you do it? Nothing to say? I guess I misjudged you. I thought you were better than this. That was not a smart move, Sigma. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. A lapsum semel occasionum, non ipse potes Jupiter reprehendere. What? What's that? A Latin proverb. What does it mean? Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Okay. Jupiter is a Roman god. Yeah, yeah, that is me bekannt. He's kind of the Roman god. He's in charge of all the others. Not even Jupiter, the ruler of the gods. Can take back what's been done. You did something bad. Fies and Hexer. You're not gonna get a chance to take it back.
I turned away from Fry. I couldn't stand to look at her anymore. In front of me were Kay and Clover. Their eyes bored into me with cold disapproval. And I looked away. Besonders die Roboteraugen von Kay. They'd both chosen Ally as promised. The only person who'd betrayed anyone was me. The only person with 9 BP was me. Little wonder I wasn't very popular. What do you intend to do? You aren't thinking about trying to open the number 9 door, are you? For a moment I considered the unthinkable. Could I break through them and reach the door? Once I was through, I'd be out of the game and free from their judgment. But... No, I couldn't do that. How could I possibly justify leaving them all behind so I could escape on my own? Why had I chosen Betray? In my memory, it seemed like an almost flippant choice. As if I'd just been curious to see what would happen if betrayal was what I wanted. I should have made the choice with commitment. But there I was and I couldn't turn back. Even if I didn't try to open the number 9 door, they would all be suspicious of anything I did. Trust is easy to break and hard to repair. Unless I could somehow turn back the clock, I was stuck with the consequences of my actions. A lapsum simel occasionum. Non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. Andere durch die Türen gehen kann, die andere geöffnet haben. Ich glaube, das gilt nur für die normalen Chromatic Doors, nicht für die Neuner Tür. Ich bin mir aber nicht mehr sicher. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. How could I do something that was beyond the reach of a god? Why had I just chosen ally? Why would why, uh, what would be happening to me right now? What if? What if? What if? Then Phi spoke, and I blinked. Sigma, we're just doing this to be safe. We can't let you run around with 9 BP. But I'm afraid you're going to have to sleep for a little while. But okay. Huh? started to turn around, but it was already too late. I felt a heavy hand slam into the back of my neck. Doesn't Zeke? And everything went dark. Game over. End. Oh, wir haben wir haben das erste richtig offizielle Ende. Fehlt noch ein ganzes ganzes Stück bei den anderen Dingern. Okay, dann gehen wir halt dahin und nehmen Ally. Bla bla bla. Blah. That was not a smart move, Sigma. It's an inner sich. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Nee, nicht getötet. Die haben mir. Die haben mich nur bewusstlos geschlagen. Aber warum das dann Ende ist und nicht weitergeht. Vielleicht haben sie mir zu sehr in den Nacken geschlagen und haben mir das Genick gebrochen oder so. Wer weiß. A lapsum semel occasionum, non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. Also für, für, eine, für einen effektiven One-Liner ist, ist, der, ist der Satz ein bisschen zu lang. Kommt ein bisschen komisch rüber. Einfach nur weil er so, so lang ist. Soll man weitermachen, wenn man schläft? Na, irgendwann wacht man ja wieder auf. Noch. Und dann kann man ja weitermachen. 
Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you, Ambidex. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Wer die hat jetzt Betray genommen? Von I stepped out of blah blah blah. You chose Ally, right? Yeah. Are you sure that was okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. Fight it too. You sound pretty sure of yourself. Oh, it's not confidence. I already know. What? Ah, uh, let's just go have a look, shall we? We'll know pretty quick whether I knew or anything okay. or not. Let's go. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Ding ding. Result, please. Good. So, wehe. Ally, ally. Ally, ally. Ally. Ah, ich hab... Ah! Fai! Warum, warum, warum machst du sowas? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check. What the hell, Fai? Why did you choose betray? You chose ally before. I see. So you remember it too. <gasps> the other round two. What? That wasn't even close to the response I'd expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. Yeah. You, you know? You remember how I chose Betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose Betray this time? Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay? Yeah, I do remember that. When this is you making me pay? Yes. Wait, wait. No, 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 that didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? What is some sort? Was it some sort of alternate history? What the hell was I thinking? That was conspiracy theory shit. You know, if there was some sort of alternate timeline or a universe or whatever, there was no way I could know what had happened in it. No way I could know. At least I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could. Then how? I remembered Fi choosing ally, uh, choosing ally, then scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a smart move, Sigma. Epsilon, blah blah blah. Revenge. Hab ich da? Fuck! Ich hab da einen Schnitt. Warum? Irgendwie habe ich mich am Arm geschnitten und ich habe keine Ahnung. That wasn't a smart. Okay. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fi remember it? What the hell did any of this mean? It had happened before, hadn't it? During round one of the AB game, when I was playing against Alice, I'd seen something. Fi and I had chosen betray. But for some reason, I'd seen a reality where we choose an ally, a uh, chosen ally instead. Suddenly, I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote ally. Hmm. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes sta stared off into the distance, and I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. But! Huh? What do you do mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. But! Through the number nine door. Oh. 
Hey, wait. I scrambled around in front of her and threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No, I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were the kind of person who ditched the rest of us so you could get our way. When someone betrays your trust, feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your way, are you saying? Whatever. Just get out of my way. No, I'm not I moving. See. Then you leave me no choice. As she spoke, Phi bent down. But Then shot up into the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number 9 door, her hand on the lever. Eva Lever, ich weiß immer noch nicht, wie man das richtig ausspricht. Fies ins Geheim Labris, das ist Person 4. You. Nice try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the leather lever. Body T. Actor Est Fabula. But she will with her comical Latin. What the hell's this? It's Latin. Ach was. Claude, the play has ended. That's oh. what it means. Let him. See you later. Wait. Stop. I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Elapsam semel occasionem non ipse potes Jupiter reprehendere. Blah blah blah. Now we even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is how you want it to end? What about the nonary game? Zero. The bombs. We still don't know the truth about any of it. You believe now we never will. Is that really what you want? Punk, punk, punk. Fine. Fi slowly let go of the lever. Phew, look, I'm sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why I did Forget it. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Uh, what are you talking about? When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? No. We aren't talking about round one, we are- Just drop it. There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Phi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah. Ich glaube ja fast, Phi is... Is zero. Weil bisher wissen wir nur von Fai, dass die Lat Latein kann. Und während über dem kompletten, über das komplette Zeug ist immer mal wieder irgendwas in Latein äh, verstreut und so weiter. Hm. I'll stick around a little longer. Mal schauen. Like he said. I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. The AB game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. Alles sind sie froh. Ding, ding. The Ambidex gates have closed. Yeah, I should Round gesehen. three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. Star? Star keys are required to open the gates. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. Oh. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. Okay. 
Also können wir im Endeffekt alle immer wieder Ally nehmen und alle haben dann irgendwann neun Punkte und wir können raus. As many times as we want, huh? And that means... As long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. So you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so. Oh, that's right. What? Can Zero Junior say something about that? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. The pair and solo assignments pop around a bit too. <laughs> Oh yeah, what are your bracelets, guys? Looks like um, a red solo. Oh. I'm a magenta pair. Me too. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Yeah. Yeah. Who's gonna be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. Huh. Wait a second. If Luna and Clover are a mag magenta pair, if I design pair and case yellow pair, who the hell am I supposed to partner up with? The cyan pair, I imagine. Vi and her mysterious partner. How do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? Ah, uh, green and blue, right? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Ah, uh, red, green and blue would be your white. Exactly. So you're saying the next set of chromatic doors are going to be white? Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. Ugh, ernsthaft. Ding, ding, ding. They had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. I wonder what colors they as are. As far as pairs go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, okay. then we should have oh. a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. This is right, yeah. Moment. It's got irgendwas am runterladen or so. Netzwerk Verbrauch. Hm, 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 hm. OBS, ja, das ist normal. Okay. Hm. Okay, von meiner Seite aus gibt es nichts Auffälliges. Kann jetzt natürlich entweder an den anderen hier im Haushalt liegen, an Twitch selbst. Moment, ich guck mal. Twitch selbst, ja, in Twitch kommen Einbrüche rein. Na, eventuell Telekom-Probleme. Okay, bessert sich gerade. Sollte, sollte wieder besser werden. Okay. Sollte wieder besser sein. Keine Ahnung, woran es lag. Nicht an meinem PC. Zu viel weiß ich. Hm. 
Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. Mensch, was hat man jetzt? B -b 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 I wonder what colors they are. Also die Leute in der Infirmary. As far as pair goes, we're missing sign in yellow. If Sigmas are red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infir infirmary. Mm -hmm. I'm going back to the infirmary, okay. I'm kinda worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Ja, Im Endeffekt sollte jeder zurückgehen, oder? Oh, that's right. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Go on. I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was just so much other stuff going on. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is. Yeah. What? Huh? Oh no. Must be you found another bomb? Also Bombe, yeah. Yeah. Where? In the garden. No. Doch. That's not possible. We didn't Doch. see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No. No way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one too. It said one. Since the one we found in the crew quarter said three on it, well, you think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere. I think there's a good chance. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. Yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right, I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. Please. How about we set a time to meet back here, just in case? The time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see. Beep, beep. Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary. Acceptable? That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. <coughs> good. Let's go. Bum, bum, bum. <sighs> Aufzug fahren. Warum? Warum kann ich das nicht überspringen? Das ist so unnötig, das jedes Mal zu sehen. Warehouse B. So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Yeah, there's the lock thing. No question, these are chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. What when did you? I've been here the whole time. But seriously, I didn't notice you at oh. all. I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. So what do you want? Why are you stalking I'm me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how did you do it? You were totally silent. Are you... Batman? I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Yeah, actually. Yeah. He also jumped super high all the way up to the ceiling. Right. Aren't you curious about that graffiti? 
Graffiti. Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori if the ninth lion ate the sun. Did a kid write that or what? Why do you say that? Well, they managed to spell ninth wrong. I could put some E in there. You're right. Then again, maybe it means something. Mm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Hey, now give me a little credit. Even I know that Memento Mori means... You see it all over, all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like be aware of death or remember your mortality. Never forget that we all die someday. I guess it's a sort of cautionary thing. What about the other part? It's exactly, exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of conditional about lines and suns. Mm. Anything come to no, mind? Nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Me? Huh. Well, let's see. Memento Mori of the ninth line ate the sun. Memento Mori. I repeated the words over and over in my head, but nothing. For whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps Fi. Ladin. Don't you know Ladin? Maybe you can figure more out of it. Well, out. I know a little. Let's play Potter. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. Then how do you know that phrase? Lap some blah blah blah. Oh, that. That's from um, this. Yes. She unpinned the brooch from her chest as she spoke and held it out to me. I hesitated for a moment and then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. Now, I lap some semi blah blah blah. So I guess the I is pronounced as a J in Latin, huh? Yeah. What is a this? A memento of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What the that she mean? died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently it was the only thing my mother had left behind. What about your father? Don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never no. saw his face. And I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh! I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed him back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. It got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elapsum simel occasionum. Not, not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But... It seems kind of funny now. I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. Ooh. Yeah. I agree. There's something else we need to do too, though. Find the number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So... You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started toward one of the exits. I followed. <sighs> Archives The Archives, good place to hide a bomb. Now, where the hell do we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. So about the Jupiter we stuff? We can talk while we look. Now get started. I turned to the corner of the room and began to look while Fi spoke. I'll start with the conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time, 
No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. Worlds? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. What? Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Well, kind of. I think I've heard of it once or twice. Mm. Oh, well, I'll just explain it. Let's say... <sighs> hmm. I don't care what it is, but could you move? Huh? Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips, anything? I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did as she asked. Applaud! Interesting choice. You clapped your hands, right? But you could have chosen to cheer or blow a kiss, right? Blow a kiss? Nah, I wouldn't do- The details don't matter. I'm just talking about possibilities here. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off, on and on into infinity. Each of those branches is an alternate world. A world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things? Anyway, that's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. It doesn't have to be human actions, though. I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these can change history. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious. Of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all of your actions are the result of atoms or electrons or smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision? At that level, how different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's where universes branch out. Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? <sighs> Never mind, don't answer that. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm, let's see. Hey, hand me that box, will you? This one? Sure. I hand the box I'd been examining over to her. She set it down on the desk and opened the top. Also... Hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. Yes. With that, she grabbed the lion and tossed it unceremoniously unceren into the box. She also took a weight and an inkjar and put them in next to the lion. All right. Everything's ready. Wait. Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? <sighs> Just from Vida. It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What about looking for this the- This will only take a minute. Now look. Mm. 
Nine is flying, eight the sun. Meinst du das? Hm. Könnte, könnte was sein, ja. I shrugged and uh, peered into the box. What do you see? Where these stuff lying? From now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Schrödinger's Katze. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a cat, meow. Oh, man. This again? Sorry. I can't help it. I find that hard to believe. Ugh. Fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. All right. What else do you see? Wait, that's not even a pond. And a jar of ink. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? I'm kidding out of you. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. Yeah, full of poison exactly. gas. Exactly. Good work. Thank you. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about uh. the jar. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid. And pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? <sighs> you can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously you can't shake it either. It's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar? It breaks. Gas fills the box, the cat inhales it, and death will whisk away. And what if the jar doesn't break? The cat lives to tell the tale. Uh -huh. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? About 50%. Uh -huh. So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? Um... Alive. The cat is pawns for a dramatic effect. Alive! Nope. You're wrong. It's there? That's wrong too. Then what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. What? How does it make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities, then it's both alive and dead. Right. Jetzt frage ich mich, was Fei damit bezwecken will, indem sie uns Schrödingers Katze nochmal erklärt. So, let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. What a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Nein, Katze ist ausgestopft. Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. So there's another world out there where this cat died? Yeah, that's the idea. That's the idea.
Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Yeah. Well, your story was pretty insane. insane. You don't think so? Just the idea of something being alive and dead at the same time? Also, ein Zombie. And if the moment the lid is opened determines whether or not the cat's dead, then it's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, uh. haven't you? What on earth are you talking Think about? Back. Remember round two of the AB game? When you chose betray, what was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose ally and you chose betray. Right. And both times, I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? Right before the deadline. I see. Well... That makes this a little easier to explain. If you chose Betray, then my vote was Ally. If you chose Ally, then my vote was Betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? My choice in the future altered your action in the past. Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Now that I thought about it, Rod 1 had been the same. When I chose an ally, Alice had chosen Betray. And when I chose Betray, she cho she'd done the opposite. Look at this die. I found it over there. Mm. Let me give you one last example. Mm. As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lip. All right. Answer this question. What number is the die on? Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Good job. Okay, sure. You got it right. That was just a fluke. Was it? Huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Eins. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Then it was halt 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 gleichzeitig. Wait, so you're saying that before you open the lid, the die was on all the numbers? Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. And then when you open the lid, it was just one number? Or... It might have become that number when you declared which one it was. Ah, uh, wait, wait, what do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. Yeah, yeah, they should actually find a bomb. But the Fai redet anscheinend lieber über Quantenphysik und so weiter. That's crazy. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Endlich. We got a little off topic there, but Ach, I think was. I made my point. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. Die hat ihren Punkt. She made her point. Ja, nee, äh, nicht wirklich, weil ich verstehe nicht genau, warum die damit angefangen hat. Die hat auf einmal gesagt, was weißt du über Quanten? Physik oder Quantenmechanik, irgendwie sowas. Und dann hat sie mit dem Scheiße angefangen. Ohne irgendwie einen direkten Grund, warum sie mir das Ganze jetzt erklären wollte. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, okay. our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Okay, jetzt, jetzt erklärt sie es. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa! I think I get it now. That's how you knew my name, right? You jumped in from another world. That's how you knew all those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah. That's the best I can figure out, at least. 
Glückwunsch, Rizos. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works, but whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asks us how we know weeks, all we can think of is, uh, think of to say is, uh, I just knew. Yeah. What's causing this then? I don't remember ever doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... Just well, what? I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior is trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cat book in the crew quarters? Mm. You aren't kitten, who are uh, you? Aren't kitten, are you? Maybe this is some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right meow. What if you've got it backwards? Backwards? We're outside of the box, and the rest of the world is inside. Uh, then the moment we step out of this place... Yeah, we might be determining the history of the world outside. But... No way! I had a thousand other questions, but before I could open my mouth to ask them... Na, endlich kommt jemand oh rein! Dankeschön! There you are! Did something happen? Yes! Uh. We found it! Hey, found what? What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb! The number two bomb is in the control room! But, no, da war ich doch letztens. Die hab ich da nicht gefunden. Hat sich da jemand reingeschlichen? Is this it? Yeah. Nee, Sigma. Das sieht nur so aus, weißt This is one of them, all right. Oh, right. And it's number two, apparently. Well, at least we found them all no. now. There could be more. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. Or a number nine bomb. You don't tell anyone else about this, Chloe? Well, um, not really. But, uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. It wasn't the infirmary. Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. There's nobody else here, though. Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. What about Alice and They're Quark? The Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure, but they seemed fine. That's good. Fine, I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? Yeah. Wäre nicht schlecht. It took her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. And Quark was a blue solo. Dio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. And Tenmyochi was a sign pair. So what are the options uh, for groups? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Also ich, Fai und Tenmyochi. Find that out what, what that would mean. Option A. Moment, gibt mehrere Optionen. Fai and Tenmyochi would pair with me. Candio with Quark, Clover and Luna with Alice. Huh? There's only one option? Ah, yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Any other combinations don't make white. What about Liz and Quark? Luna said it's going to be white until they wake we'll up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them, 
Yeah, we get penalized. Exactly. <sighs> Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. Are you saying you can carry yeah. her? Well, I can get Luna to help me. True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. What about Quark? He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Nicht wirklich, ne? Well, we still need to figure out uh, what we're going to do about this bomb. As I said, we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe, but we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off, then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. No. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? The bomb should only have about as much explosive power as a ton of TNT. Which is nothing to sniff at, but that's nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just, like, the detonator? Oh, oh! You mean there might be a bunch of more anti-hydrogen around here anywhere somewhere? Yep, right over there. The reactor. Yeah, there is supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them. Then there's a lot of anti-hydrogen. Hmm. How much is a lot? Three and a half kilograms. It's three and a half? It's like one hundred uh, ten thousand times more than Alice's 350 mg. If there really is that much. And if it does explode... Then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. No, that's, that's insane. Wait, Clover, how did you know that? Know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um, well, that's, uh, during my training, they... Training for what? Uh, my job? Ah, of course. I didn't realize why does these days need to be mem mem needed to memorize how many operational engine matter reactors there were worldwide, or how much fuel each of one each one of those reactors might be storing. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? Yeah. Oh, well, um, she's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors as a, at a cafe? That's uh, what we call the. Coffee machines? What? Are you fucking with me? I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might, um, be a kind of fake job to divert attention? I think they call it a cover. What? Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. Classified by who? The government? The government? That's right. Ella said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. Uh, oh no! Check your bracelets. How much time do we have left? What you talking How about? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! Quickly. Damn! We were supposed to have met up five minutes ago. I'm heading back then. Remember, okay, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You yeah. guys hurry back, okay? Bye. Bye. Y you haven't. Damn it. No. And she's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get Hold going. On. I need to check something really quick. Bust then. Oh, what? Can we need rausfinden. So, alle, die noch nicht abgestimmt haben, bitte mal, oh, bitte mal noch abstimmen. Weil ich werde nicht mehr lange. Ich werde eh gleich hier fertig sein und so. You're late. What were you doing? Nothing. Nothing? No. When we arrived, everyone else was already back. Yeah. 
Quark and Alice hadn't left, of course. They were both sleeping soundly, any traces of the madness we'd seen earlier long gone. Clover told us, you've seen the bomb in the control room. Yeah, with our, with our own so what eyes. the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here, there's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. I nodded and pulled it out of my pocket. That was in the safe in the control room. Exactly. We didn't have any idea what it was at first, but five figured it out. After Clover left, we tested it. Turned out I was right. It fit perfectly. Couldn't get it to do anything though. We plucked in a couple random characters, but all we got was an error. Still, I'm sure this is the thing Alice was talking about. We just didn't have the right password. But why was it in the control room? Do you think Zero Senior put it here for us? That would suggest it was also Zero Senior who set up the bombs. Doesn't that seem odd, though? Zero Senior wants us to play the Nonary game, right? So why would he set bombs? Maybe he wants to blow this whole place up if someone commits some crazy violation of the rules? That doesn't make sense. Our bracelets already have poison in them. If someone breaks a rule, all he has to do is activate their bracelet. Yeah, you're right. Well, whatever the case is, there's one thing we can be sure of. The person who set these bombs is one of us. <gasps> Whether or not that person is also Zero Senior isn't particularly relevant at the moment. But what is relevant is that they know the deactivation password. If we can figure out who that person is and question them. We can get the password and turn the bombs off. Exactly. That would be my quick and easy method. So fess up. Which one of you set the bombs? Not that I expect you to do that. So, we're going to be checking everyone. Checking us? Yes. Once they're set, the bombs are controlled by a remote. It stands to reason that whoever set them has that remote. So you're gonna search us for it? Yes. But... No buts. If you refuse, that implicates you. Kinda buts. Do what I say Aber. and you'll be fine, assuming you are actually innocent. Understand? No reason to wait. Let's get started. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No. Alright. Let's see. Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. I, I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I'd even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I'm at Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person. To be continued. Objection! That person, you did it! The room was suddenly silent. Ich hab's gewusst! Ah! Mann!
Ernsthaft. Gut, ähm, also da hier kommen wir ja nicht weiter. Da hier kommen wir, glaube ich, nicht weiter. Weswegen kommen wir da nicht weiter? Ah, nee, Moment. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, machen wir da beim nächsten Mal weiter, weil jetzt müssen wir anscheinend... Aber jetzt, jetzt können wir uns daran erinnern, dass Alice da äh, tot ist und so weiter. Eventuell geht es da hier dann weiter. Okay, dann, dann gucken wir aber beim nächsten Mal. Das ist ja fast so wie... Das ist ja fast so wie, wie wenn man Safe States benutzt in einem Spiel speicherst, dann passiert irgendwas Doofes, dann letzte, letzte das, äh, den Safe Stage, weißt, dass was Doofes passiert, wenn du das machst, dann machst du was anderes. Ha! Interessant. Ah ja, gut, ähm, ja, beim nächsten Mal gucken wir dann da bei der Route weiter, vielleicht findet man da was, ansonsten gehen wir halt fast ganz zurück und gehen dann eine komplett andere Route. Schauen wir mal.